Buongiorno e benvenuti. Hello and welcome to the Italian cooking class. Welcome, this is Giuseppe here again. Thank you for joining us. Today what I'm going to be doing is uh, peperoni arrostiti con menta e aglio, which translates to roasted red capskins with mint and garlic. Now, I know roasted capskins isn't too difficult though. A couple of things that I like to demonstrate. I'll show you the ingredients that we're going to be using. Obviously some capsicums, mint, olive oil, salt and garlic. Basically there's two parts of this. Firstly we're going to roast the capsicums on their own. Very simply, just dip your fingers and over the baking tray just smear the oil over the capsicums. Now we don't want too much because it does end up being excessive. We want the oil to heat up and fry the surface, the skin on the capsicum itself. Once we've actually smeared it all over the surface of the capsicum we get some salt, a good old salt, and we just sprinkle that around. This again draws a flavour out of the capsicum. I know the skin's going to be discarded though we can add a bit more salt to the actual flesh of the capsicum. We're going to add them to a preheated oven. It's about 200 because you want the oven to be nice and hot so it does actually cook the outside of the capsicum quite rapidly so the skin does move away while retaining a lot of texture of the pulp itself. They've been cooking for about 10-12 minutes. And just have a look because you do want to turn them over. Yeah, a little bit sort of, you can see their nice brown in colour there. We'll just turn them over on one side, all of them. It's been about another 10 minutes now. I noticed that the capsicums have browned quite somewhat there. Just give them another little turn, face that they haven't actually been turned on, and we'll give them five minutes now, and then we'll pull them out. It's been another five minutes now. Oh, they are just fantastic. Uh, fantastic uh, may not be a word, but it sure is now. Let them cool down for a bit, and then we'll put them in a plastic bag, because the plastic bag will retain the heat and it'll actually steam them at the same time and with it steaming the actual skin will pull away from the capsicum. Okay, hopefully they're not too hot. We'll close that, we'll tie a knot in it, we'll let them sit for about 10-15 minutes and then we'll pull them. Okay, they've been sitting for about 15 minutes. You know, whenever they're cool enough for you to handle is the time to do it and certainly the skin has to come away from it. So we'll just um, pull them out. See they're still quite hot inside so just got to be careful not to burn yourself. I've got some small tongs to use as extensions to my fingers because they're a little bit hot but you'll see how that's um, all come nice and clean. So we'll get another one. Seeds out. Avoid disturbing the seed structure as much as you can because that way they will stay together and easy to pull away otherwise I'll just spread everywhere and makes it more difficult we'll just turn these upside down like that and just pull them away just very simply all the capskins have been skinned I'm going to slither them very simply with a knife like that Nice and easy. I'm going to add the garlic to it, as much garlic or as little garlic as you like. I'm going to chop the mint as soon as you cut it. Just add it to the capsicums, otherwise a lot of the, the flavour and aroma will be released into the atmosphere instead of onto the capsicums. Add a little bit more salt, give it a flavour and some olive oil. Oh. Fantastic. You get those flavours combining. Again, you can add or subtract as much as you like. But the main thing is to give it all the intention that you want to create the maximum flavour possible so that you're really connecting with the food. It is really, really important to maximise the intensity. Quantum physics are alive and happening, folks. It's a real thing. Going to taste these down. We're going to put it on some lovely sourdough bread. 
You can have these with anything you like. With some olive, with some cheese, have it in a pasta, on some risotto, when they're how I have them just plain, but just because they're so nice like this as well. Sweet ain't the word. Heavenly sweet is the one. This is Rosa Bread Capskins with Mint and Garlic. Thank you for watching. Italian Cooking Class.com. I can let you want to be